Okay, real quick, which one's the Toyota and which one's the Jaguar? Well, hello everybody, Max of Max's Models here. Do you guys remember when you could tell a Toyota from a Jaguar a mile apart? Now they basically both look like the same half egg shaped car. It, it's just, I know it's technology and aerodynamics, but oh, I don't know. If you can afford a Jaguar, are you really worried about that extra half a mile to the gallon? So, to assuage my shock at the loss of such a signature looking car, I decided to go over to Hobby Lobby and look at some models of really cool cars. When I was over there, I saw the model section. It looked like it got a little bit smaller. They've rearranged my local store a little bit, but no, nothing terrible. I did notice that they had upped their game on some of the Gundam kits. Uh, they actually have some pretty nice looking stuff in there. And, of course, all of this was uh, on the shelf uh, by where the paints and everything are kept, as you would expect. And they were um, right across the same aisle was where all the diorama-making stuff was at. So I go to the next aisle, and there's all the toy cars and stuff that's pre-made. But then I go over one more aisle and find more kit models mixed in with the toys. And eh, not the way I do it, guys, but whatever. But what I did find in the clearance section was this beautiful $100 basketball display case on sale for $24.99. So I snatched that thing up as quick as I could. Didn't even know what I was going to put in it. Turned out to be perfect for the Grumman biplane that I've got, the Gulf Hawk. And uh, it had been sitting on top of the shelf collecting dust. And I dusted it off, put it in there, and now it's protected. And it gives the room some balance because I have a similar looking case on the other end of the couch. In other news, I'm uh, starting to do some research, going back to the raison d'etre of this channel originally, which was to do history videos. I'm working on the company Poker, which makes uh, some really top-end and very expensive model cars. And uh, they're currently being handled by Hornby. The only other thing going on is I did get out and do some work on the airliner today out in the Tarvis and <laughs> got the air conditioner going. Uh, so, uh, should be sanding that stuff down today and give them another shot of primer and the fuselages might be ready for me to start working on. I think I'm going to put both of these airliners on sticks, uh, wheels up, especially the DC-8 because they, they just too, I don't have any place to put something that big if I don't. And, uh, well, that's where we're at for today. Just a quick little video. I've been busy all day, which is why I'm just getting a video out now. Guys, you uh, take care of yourselves. I hope you're doing well. And as always, model on.